Hey guys, it's Erin from ErinDisBeauty.net. Um, I have a new ring light on my new camera, and so I'm going to try to film a practice get ready with me video. So, total amateur status right now, please forgive me. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't even cleaned up my mess yet. Okay, hold on, let's flippy flippy. Okay, so this is my face. This is after I've washed it and um, after I've toned it with Glow Tonic from Pixi. Um, it's a little bit on the greasy side, but that's okay. We'll use a primer. Um, first thing I'm going to use is my Jasmine Iris Oil Control Primer from Pacifica. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to put it kind of in my T-zone where I get the most oil. It takes away the oil. Now I'm going to use my Dreamy Cover Foundation also from Pacifica. This stuff is a serum, so a little goes a long way, and it seriously is going to probably last me forever because I use like less than like a pea size amount to cover my whole face. I'm not even going to conceal today because this stuff kind of conceals for me, and it's SPF 20, which is great for the summertime, and I've been going to the pool a lot, so. All right, I'm going to use a stippling brush, and I'm going to put just a little fuzzies, fuzzies. I'm just going to put a little dollop, like that much. See how much that is? Very little. It's going on with my hair today. Anyways, and I'm just going to... Oops. Normally I just dollop it and I swirl it around. This stuff is so light. It feels like you have nothing on. It's almost like you're just rubbing like liquid silk on your skin or something but it covers it covers all that madness the madness in my case it's the madness of a sleep deprived mom your madness might be different but come on we all have the madness okay Okay, so now I have my serum foundation on, and I'm kind of doing the routine I've been doing almost every day this since spring started. Um, now I'm going to kind of set it with this marshmallow skin from um, Trifle Cosmetics. It's a mineral powder foundation. I use, I can't remember what this is called. It's a custom coverage buffing brush. It's like a flat head. And I just kind of barely dip into that. And then I just kind of swirl it around kind of where I need extra coverage or where my makeup tends to run throughout the day because powder sets the foundation. You could use any powder, but this is the one I have on hand. It's my favorite lately. Keep in mind that everything I'm using today is vegan and cruelty free. Just like me. Oh, I'm so corny. And I'm actually going to powder my lips. Helps with the lipstick application later. So that's my face. Can't really see the screen. So it could just be like from here down. I don't know. <laughs> this is an experiment. Okay. And actually I said I wasn't going to use um, 
concealer, but I am, and I'm going to use the Pacifica Transcendent Concentrated Concealer. I don't know if that's going to focus. It's not really going to focus. But I'm just going to put a little under my eyes. On my chin. And then I'm just going to pat that in with a Real Techniques blending sponge. I'm trying to be really quick about this because my son's eating popcorn and that's the only reason I'm able to film this because he's watching Clifford and eating popcorn so I bought myself a couple of minutes. Hello? Speak of the devil. Hold on. Okay, I'll be right out. I'm almost done, okay? You want more popcorn? Yeah. Okay. You want more popcorn? And I'm back. Okay. Now let's, we're going to have to speed things along a little bit. So I'm just going to use um, the Pacifica Solar Palette, which I speak about a lot. Well, smudgy smudged. I'm going to get a blush brush. Get the blush right here in flushed and just got to bring some quick color to my cheeks. I like to go in a circular motion on the apples and then blend upwards towards the temple to go against gravity. Okay, and now I'm going to use my fan brush making this up as I go. And I'm going to take this Glow Sunkissed Bronzer Duo from Pacifica and I'm going to use the Glow. And I'm just going to fan that right above where I put my brush. You can see there's a nice little shimmer that's appearing. Put some on my cupid's bow. Put some in the middle of my nose. And just kind of build on that to get as much shine as you want. That's pretty shiny. My hair is madness. 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 The word of the day. Now I'm gonna use the fan the same fan brush, which is probably taboo, but I'm gonna use bronzed, the bronzer. And I'm just gonna lightly dust the perimeter of my face. It just kind of brings all the for focus to the forefront of my face. It sculpts it in a way that just brings all the attention rot her, you know, into the good stuff. Between you and me, I haven't done anything with my hair since I swam laps. Okay, now I'm going to just kind of sculpt underneath my cheekbones. It's a very light, subtle color, so it's not, not like anything super bold. Um, okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to use this cream color in gold dust and I'm just going to prime my eyes with that. Kind of bring it on as a base for any eye color that I'm going to put on. It kind of makes the color stay longer and it makes it a little bit bolder, more pigmented. 
do do do. I'm gonna use my handy dandy two-ended eye brushes that I have also eco tools. All of my brushes are basically eco tools except for a few stragglers that were handed to me. Um I'm going to use this end. Not really sure what it's called. And I'm actually gonna use the bronzer again as a transition color, which I learned from both Wife Life and Rebecca from The Makeup Effect. Both are lovely and talented. Um, now where's my spritzy spritz? I'm going to use a quick sprayer bottle and just spritz and then I'm going to get this fun gold color I'm changing my mind as I go but I'm gonna go with Neptune this gold color and just pack that on my lid I'm gonna do something simple and sunny today nothing too fancy I don't have the time maybe when my son's in preschool I'll have the time I have the song from the Lego movie stuck in my head. Everything is awesome. Everything is blue, blah, 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 blah. Everything is awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Exact words. Okay. Now I'm going to take this color Glow, which also is the same name as the highlight I used on the other palette. It's this light opal -y color, and I'm just going to go under my brows with that. Nothing too fancy schmancy. My brows need to be did. I'm going to go on the inner corners of my eye too, just to kind of brighten up this look. I just realized that most of this look is Pacifica. I didn't intend for it to be, but you know, it calls to me sometimes. I know this needs a little more depth, so I'm going to use this little stubby end right here, and I'm going to take this color Treasure. It's like a bronzy brown color, and I'm just going to lightly go where no man has gone before. No. I'm gonna go up here just to like the outer corner but like stay within the crease and then I'm just gonna kind of bring it down underneath create kind of a um, smoky look. And don't worry, we're going to blend this ish. We're going to blend it with the other end of the brush, which is the blending side. And in a circular motion, just gently buff it so that there's no harsh lines. And it's looking nice, yeah? It's looking nice. All right. Now before I forget, I require an under eye setting powder, which I'm not entirely sure what it does, but it does keep my color from running and it keeps my under eyes looking bright and cheery. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder and just gently smear that under there. So that is done. That has happened. Nose itches. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm going to do my brows. I'm kind of doing things in a little weird order. I'm going to of course use the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in Medium Brown. That's my go-to. 
and I'm just gonna kind of do my thing. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on this sometime, but I'm not that confident right now. I'll do for now. At least they're more bold and less straggly. Scraggly? I don't know. Okay. Here comes my least favorite part. Eyeliner. But it helps if you have a good product. This one is Kat Von D's Ink Liner. The Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm going to try to do my thing. all she wrote all right now on for mascara I'm gonna use Gabri Gabriel just mascara in black I like it simple this stuff brings serious va va boom to my lashes I was asked if I was wearing um, falsies the other day. I was like, nope, just Gabriel mascara. I also have really long lashes. Which I've said it before, but I'm pretty sure I can attribute that to when I cut them off when I was like 10 years old. They just grew back like tenfold. But I'm not telling you all to go out and cut off your eyelashes because that's kind of foolish. And I was kind of foolish. I also shaved off one of my eyebrows, so please don't listen to me about what to do with your face in regards to hair removal or not. Speaking of hair removal, I watched this video the other day where the chick was trying to tell women that they should shave their face before they put on makeup because it gives them a smoother makeup application and I was like hmm yeah but then all the hair grows back and then you kind of look like a werewolf so please don't do that if you want a smoother surface for your makeup just exfoliate or use a primer don't be taking a razor to your face Wax strips are a whole different ballgame, though. Ew, I hate when the concealer, like, lines. Mm, look at that. That, like, milky line thing? That's gross. Get out of here. Speaking of exfoliation, I didn't exfoliate my lips, and that's probably why this is happening. Okay. Okay, I am going to use I haven't used this color in a while. I'm gonna use um ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lip in Spritz. It's supposed to be like the perfect bubblegum pink, but we'll see how it goes. that <coughs> hear my dog's my name my dog's neighbor barking uh do you hear my neighbor's dog barking what Julian it's over I guess that means it's over um anyways I hope you enjoyed my look I am done this is me 
And, um, I don't know. Stay classy. Bye-bye.